The stage set, the expectations high. We are only beginning to hear um, the facts. I think people are looking forward to hearing uh, what Mr. Butts has to say. And what his testimony might refer to. Gerald Butts will come armed. It's a promise he made when he asked to testify, wanting time to be able to produce relevant documents to the committee. I will now read to you a transcript of the most relevant sections of a text conversation. Jody Wilson-Raybould did it, and so will he. Text messages he believes will counter the former Attorney General's story. Butts was her main contact at the Prime Minister's office, and they texted a lot. Watch for Justin Trudeau's former top advisor to get specific on key dates. On December the 5th of 2018, I met with Jerry Butts. That meeting at the Chateau Laurier Hotel, just a block from Parliament Hill. In Wilson Raybould's version of events, she was being hounded in what she says amounted to veiled threats. Jerry then took over the conversation and said how we need a solution on the SNC stuff. He said I needed to find a solution. Her picture of relentless pressure included another meeting on December 18th. This time, Wilson Raybould wasn't there, but her chief of staff was. Jerry said, quote, Jess, there is no solution here that does not involve some interference, end quote. The opposition wants more than simply she said, he said. I think Canadians want the whole story. They want to know everything from top to tail, exactly what happened, how it happened, why we ended up with having three major resignations in the span of four weeks. But tomorrow may come down to this, the tone. Some Liberal MPs have told CBC they're worried about which Jerry Butts will show up. The enthusiastic debater has a reputation of going to battle on social media, vocal, aggressive, partisan. The leader of it has done a phenomenal job, and that's Justin Trudeau. Tomorrow, he will need to tread a fine line, presenting his version with force without attacking or appearing to attack the woman on the other side. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa.